So then like, Matt no, you get that Matt no, you sign. You can go pit down now. Just a dollar. Yeah, something like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. What the hell you doing shooting the scene around here? Uh <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you gotta add all my people in New Orleans talking about your shit, bro. Yeah, New Orleans fuck with me that hard. Shit all over New Orleans, bro. I Keep fuck with New Orleans. Bro. They fucking with the series. Man, I be having people coming back. I just home. had a nigga trying to book me, man. Yeah. His yeah, partner, his partner tripping. They fucking with it. Kind of tripping up, fucking up the minor. Nah, you ain't went high that reek. Oh, where reek at? You know reek spot right here. Nah, That's what I'm about to go at now. I thought he moved. Nah, he right here. Oh, okay. Hey, yeah, I'm about to go up there. Swa, swa, swa. Y'all already know, man. This swa motivation. I'm your boy Drills a Dollar, AK Man Man. Uh, I am the host. Do the most. Right now, guys, we on a little street called Magnolia. I growed up on this street. Not only did I trap on this street, but I rapped on this street. Right here where I used to sit at, uh, Lon Lonely or K-Rich. K-Rich died. Lonely or K-Rich, he died, but that was my little brother. I used to have to hide him behind this thing. And it was a lot of woods you couldn't see. Uh, let me take you to this, this little sewer right here. This history. Me and my little partner Montague, he was on the run, and um, he there were juvenile days, but he was committed to the state. So uh, they were looking for him. They caught him. Long story short, he had my work on him. Big old bomb, about a thousand dollar bomb, seven hundred, eight hundred dollar bomb, straight nicks, butter. Man, they opened this particular sewer up and throw it all down now and let us go and um squirrel squirrel shout out to squirrel a real good person he was a smoker one point of time ago he called himself a super j but squirrel he ended up going down there getting it he ended up getting it out of there shout out to squirrel again man he around here he got all kind of stuff going on uh he helped me bury k rich what a uh a host of mo, uh, host of a lot of mo guys. Long live K. Rich again. God bless the dead. Long live Tony. Long live E. B. Long live Big Junior. Long live Goldie. We lost a lot of people around this way. Uh, that my brother right there. That my brother. That my brother. I thought you moved, man. We working, man. I'm glad, I'm glad you came out. God, good. Yeah. They know you from Man Man. I said, my brother, man. Yeah, shout out to my brother, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. Introduce yourself, man. Let these folks know what's going on. I caught him a little rough. He normally clean, clean. You go to his Instagram, man. You said, they're the nigga, clean the nigga in the city, big nigga, man. Nah, this my brother right here, man. We got a lot of history, and uh, we did a lot of stuff together. We got a chance to know each other and be around each other for a whole 365 or even probably more, you know? So, yeah, man, just showing them the hood and letting them know what's going on and how a nigga growed up, you know, and how dead it is. You know how people used to be out here, and now it's just people dead or either in jail now, man. So, you know, they real history, and I'm gonna give y'all the destiny as we go you know like i said i'm trying to film seven days a week i'm trying to do it seven days a week and just just show them man you can do this stuff without no money like that you ain't got to have a lot of money a little money but not a lot That's yeah it. what you got going shit, this uh, chill, the shit, man, whatever. man they history right here man can we come in here man yeah. i used to trap out of here man shout out to chip chip used to be down here what's going on all right, I done got a little, some rooms in here. <laughs> How many rooms I got in here? Three. Three, okay. 
What going on? Oh yeah, it's all right here. Yeah. Man, we did a lot of trapping out of here, man. Trapping and rapping, man. Swa, swa, swa. Hit that mute right quick, where that won't be in the camera. So yeah, man, y'all already know, man. Them niggas be trying to find me. I've heard this shit crazy, man. Yeah, I just left New York. Nah, I got all the music in the uh, movie. Yeah. But I've been getting booked for all that shit. Yeah, I've been getting booked for all that. I just left New York. All the music. Swap, nah, we back, guys. Y'all already know this your boy, Drizzy Dollar, AK Man Man. This is Swap Motivation. We on the west side, the best side. I got my big brother with me here. He my little brother, but he my big brother, too. <laughs> Swap, nah. Uh, Rick. Man, tell them what, what we, how we rocking, man. How we rocking? I already know what's going on. Man, him, man, we. They're they real day one shit. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm talking about for real. I'm talking about for, uh, for real. Sleeping on the floor at the yo type shit. Yeah, we connected. Like, and, for real. Listen, we connected and it was like a puzzle. It was hey. completed. Home, home one got me rapping for real. Yeah, he wasn't hey. taking serious. <laughs> He wasn't taking it serious, but he started taking it serious. He got better and better at it. And then one of the guys I truly can say, man, hard. Hard. I still play you. They still hear you. They don't know it's you, but yeah, what they mama said, what mama said, all that. So shout out to 40, man. I ain't got no bad blood with 40. Shout out to 40. He part of my history. He, he part of my history and uh, you know God let you uh, meet people and you know be a part of people's life for seasons. It's, it's seasons, steps in the seasons. You know you got one or you got fall. You got all that so you got to look at it like that. People going to be with you in certain seasons. They might be with you in the summer. Might not be with you in the winter. But we had a great time and like I said with it was history, and that would help us get right here to our destiny and, and able to still talk about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah man. Still so. alive, nigga. Still can talk about it. Yeah, that means something. Yeah, it means a lot. Especially uh, just knowing how many people don't die. Yeah. And I keep trying to tell man, I lost so many people around him, but I ain't lost my faith. I'm still hoping. You know what I mean? But, yeah, so we here, man. I'm gonna take y'all around the west side. We going to Rice Street. Let y'all see that county jail. I can look at it now. I can go to it without being going to it and being incarcerated. Now I can let them know what's happening. <laughs> oh, it's it different now. It's different now. We we can do what we want to do now. Yeah, we got them now. We on we, we on yeah we on another one now. Yeah. Hey, get that oh, Atlanta jerk chicken right here. Shout out to N.O. Shout out to Wolf. Hey, man, I respect y'all too, man. Did what I love to see, man. I don't like to see people with different niggas every time I see them. You know what I mean? Man, get you a nigga, man, you can love, man, and trust him. Y'all know each other, man. And you know he it, and he know you it. Yeah. Know that. That's what it's about, man. These brothers been together so long. I met Woe through Reek, and I knew then they had a bond. I seen they bond then, and this the example we need to we need to see. We ain't seeing this often. You heard what I just said. Every time I go to pe see people, they with somebody different. They bringing them to your house. You don't know these folk. You know? Yeah, man. So. I appreciate you, man, for letting me come into your place, man. Place you call home. And this beautiful right here, big brother. Yeah, this beautiful, man. And I want people like California to see stuff like this. You know, in California, they can't do stuff like this. You know what this will cost you in California? You talking about 7500 Three bedroom? Yeah, you talking about 7500 They They, they share the E-room. You have bunk beds in each one of these rooms. In Cali. In Cali. So that's a blessing just to be able to do stuff like this. And you got younger brothers than him. Got their own little condo. They had Buckhead. All that. You know what I mean? So 
Uh, shout out to California. They going through it right now, man. Keep y'all prayers for California. Uh, we out of here, man. Y'all already know. So our motivation, man. This ain't frustration. This ain't agitation. I ain't trying to aggravate you. I'm trying to motivate you, partner. I'm talking about inspiration. For real. You know what I'm talking about? Swell. Just let me know. I'll send them over here. He'll hook it up for you. Y'all pay him. Love you, bro. Love you too, my brother. Swell. Hey, bro. Hey. All right, guys, this was one of my trout spots right here. What I used to do was I had a, my room was upstairs, and I would have a sandwich box, and I would drop the box from down with the work in it, and they would put the money in the box first, and I would lift the box back up, get the money, and then send down the work. Right here, that window right there. Shout out to my guy T. T got this spot out to me. He trapped it out, beat it out. Did Magnolia. These my old projects, if you can see back there. We used to go through that cut to get to the projects. Name of them project Eagle Home. Kick, 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 kick. So guys, uh, this right here is the Elmaco. There was the Amoco, but my reason why I'm right here is, right here was the payphone. This is why I used to trap at also. And back then we didn't really have phones like that, we had beepers. So I used to trap right here at the payphone. Uh, Amoco right here, I pump gas. I went from pumping people gas to selling people the gas. Long live Calvin. We go down them steps right there and we gamble. Might go hit some down now. Long live Calvin. Man, this whole street is history, man. I used to trap right here at this church. They told it down. I used to trap at the church. This history, man. We're going to go on down the right street. Go further down uh, Aspen. We call it Caspin now. Hey, God bless the dead. Long live everybody lost their life to these streets. George Al, it was me and Tony. With the street trying to get some money. Grant Paul, nigga, selling hard. Rock, what's up, Rock? Yeah, man, you know what's going on, man. I'm the motherfucking block, man. Fuck my partner's drugs, man, all day, every day, man. We keep that shit. You know what I mean? We keep that shit on us like no other, man. Big Bank, man. I'm my partner, my guy, man. You already know my other, yeah, my guy, man. Side, my guy, you see? Know Where we at, Where Rock? Where we at right now? Aspen. Aspen. You know what I mean? Believe it. The church is a Jody E. Lyra, but it's Aspen, though. But we got history, though, don't we? We got big old history. We got history. Way back history. We go, shoot, we talking about three and three and them. What? Three of them. Yeah, three of them. I'm talking oh, about. Oh, that's the Amoco made niggas, man. Amoco made nigga, oh, Inglewood, Inglewood. Yeah. D.A. Stan. Believe it. D.A. Stan. Summer Hill, all that good old Summer shit. Summer Hill. Know what I mean? Yeah, Hill so. Street, Georgia Avenue. Yeah, all, all that. So they're my brother Street. for real before the West Side. Atlanta Avenue. Atlanta Avenue. Man, all on, that, man. Real, man. Don't so. forget that, man. Rocco the Kid, man. Fuck with Georgia. Good a dollar all day, man. Man, what I'm doing There's right no now, Rocco man. Right here. This is Eli, man. Shout out to Eli. Hill, Shout out to Eli. What we doing right now, Rock? Rock, what we doing right now? We just trying to. You know, get their history together. You know, we ain't gonna be here forever. We ain't gonna be here forever, so. All right. 
you know, a hundred years from here, somebody could be watching us and understanding what we was out here doing and trying to accomplish. Yeah. You feel That's me? Right. So. Making moves. Like Making the right moves. Yeah. I mean, teaching the little ones still on the right on, track. Cut, like, cut on, cut yeah. But yeah. shit won't be too wide. For, For real. real. We don't want them to go through that, and I was just explaining how we lost so many people. Yeah. You know, all boys, kid folks. All that, man. Around, man. But we ain't lose our hope. We ain't lose our faith. We, we still yeah, doing, yeah. yeah, we still doing it for them. Still yeah, keeping yeah, their yeah. name alive. We gonna keep it up, keep it going, always. Man, I gotta, hey, these benches right here, man, I used to sleep on these benches and carrying on, man. Yeah, these benches, man. They go one right there, man. One round Walls down, two. man. Walls too, man. You had one to do, right there. You had to do what you had to do, man. The statue is the most important thing on this park. Yeah, it is. It really is. You, that statue can, can teach you a lot. Right there. Hey, I watch a boy get shot in this park, shot down, but he ain't die. Uh, shout out to New York. He ain't die. Shout out to Gerald. Uh, I really watched that happen. It's a crazy story. I just re recall New York. I'm talking about he going in people's pockets. Hey yo, I'm going in I'm going in your pocket if you serve. But uh long live JC. Good man, good man. A man took me in, let me trap out his spot. When I ain't had nowhere else to trap and it was hot, you know, and um uh, even gave me a spot to lay my head too, you know. We lost a lot of good people out here, man. I was out here from the beginning, you know, when the Amoco were, were jumping and the bando were bumping and the girls was everywhere, you know, and uh, it was beautiful. You could take a nick sack and come up. Yep, so uh, they the park, guys. A lot of stuff came out of the park, a lot of lessons, a lot of blessings. Yes, sir. And as you can see, uh, a lot of people usually be out here, but for some reason, a lot of people ain't out here today. It cold. Oh, it really ain't that cold, though. It's cold, but it's Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to head down to Rice Street, guys, let y'all see my second home, let y'all know what it is. Swap Motivation 101. This your host, Drizzle Dollar, aka Man Man. <clears throat> right now, guys, what we showing y'all is my second home. Used to be my second home. Uh, this is Fulton County Jail. We call it Rice Creek. That's the name of the street. And um, you can go on the internet and look up uh, 60 Days In and check out what's going on in here. And I just wanted to show the people and the young people that this is a place you don't want to come to. I heard people say they'd rather be in prison than to be in this place. So guys, I ask y'all to pay attention, be watchful, and, and you know what I mean? Mind your business and know what's going on. Uh, man, people don't really make it in now. They come out bruised up, beat up, eat up, and it's ugly in now. And I tell you, man, when you get in there, it's hard to get out. It's so hard to get out of there, so. Let's free with it, let's go closer. Let's take them closer. And I want to take them closer. And I want them to see the Ford and County Jail part. So. Look what it said, heroes work here. So you see the county? You see what's going on? How it's going on? For the county. They doing visitation? Uh -huh. 
Put mine on the book. Y'all heard that? You want somebody to put money on your book? Don't do it. Good God, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna figure out a way how we can get in there and talk to the inmates. Let them know how I used to come. They can look at my rocker. This was my second home. I just want to motivate my brothers and let them know what's going on and how it's going. And just, man, you can change your life too. It took a it took a it took a long time, but we made it happen. So this is SWA Motivation One on One. This is the first episode, guys. We started it off at one on one. So don't be looking for the the hundred episode or whatever. But this it right here, man. And as you can see, they looking at us right now. They looking through their window at us. Trying to make the sheriff come out. He won't come out. Man, these folk don't care what you do out here. You do what you want to do. What we used to do is, <clears throat> we had a way before they built all this, and we bust the windows and we dropped the screens down. And they tied up, tied the weed up, whatever they were bringing in, and we rolled it back up. And then we had the trustees. Well, they, they, they had a trustee cleaning up down here. They dropping in the bathroom, the, the girl bathroom or whatever. And they, the trustee get it out the bathroom and bring it up to the inmates. That's how it used to go. It don't go like that no more. Now they got something they call muse. The muse is the officers. The officers bring it in now. That's why you see so many officers getting caught up, getting locked up. And um, that's how it go. A mute is a correction officer, a deputy. They got deputies work here, so this is my second home family. We're going to try to pull up my record, and we're going to try to put my record on this thing um, where y'all can just see what I'm talking about. We're going to go try to find all the mug shots we can find. We're going to throw them on there for y'all. Right now I'm live too, also guys, just trying to show my YouTube fans and family, uh, Fulton County Jail, for the people who don't know about Atlanta. I know a lot of people came to Atlanta and got locked up and had to go to this jail. Swell. This the county, man. This the county. This is the county. Don't stop what you're doing, keep going. Keep growing. Let everybody know who you are. There's some people who don't know, want to know who you are, but you let them know who you are. When you step in these rooms, your presence ought to be felt. What I'm, what I'm doing right now, I'm showing y'all my hood. I'm showing y'all what's good. I'm showing y'all what's not good. Right now, we at Rice Creek, where you don't want to be. Uh, I just want to bring this to my platform and let people know that, man, this is what I had to go through to get where I had to get to. God allowed me to be here because of the lessons he wanted me to go through. But I just didn't go through them, I growed through them. And um, like I said on my show, Six to 10, uh, the things I used to do, I don't do no more. I got that right there from this place right here. We would get in a circle and we all would just sing the things I used to do and whatever you don't do no more, you would let them know what you don't do no more. And what you don't do no more, you let them know. And the people you don't know no more, you let them know. So when it was your time, the things I used to do, I don't do no more since the Lord laid hands on me. How you doing now? Fine, how are you? Oh, just letting them know this used to be my second home. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, it used to be my second home. So now I can come back and talk about it instead that's of... That's me. Yeah? That's you? Yeah, you it not, this place not used to be my second home, but I had Lovejoy, Jackson, and uh, uh, Hall County. Okay. When I got right with God, then he put me back in. And I know about Autumn Spot, too. I've been to Autumn Spot, too. Yeah. Yep, Jackson. God bless you, man. You too, man. All right, we'll what you doing? You, you be going in there preaching? Uh-huh. How can I help you? How can you help me? I think they'll gravitate to me. 
Yeah. I do motivational speaking and all that kind of stuff. I got a morning show, 6 to 10. We're going to do it again. Uh -huh. We pray. We motivate people. We changing lives. Hey. I'm changing lives, but me and God, you know. But, yeah, I want to do that, man. I want to talk to my brother. I was just telling him, I don't know how we're going to get in there, but we're going to figure out a way. All you got to do is go in there and uh, ask for the chaplain. Ask for the chaplain? And uh, he'll give you the paperwork that you need and then get you processed. Okay. He'll, he'll call you and tell you when he wants you to come in. All right, say that, man. Got gotcha. you. Right. Yeah, right, you be man. good, man, and Have take care of yourself, man. Blessings. Yeah. You see? Yeah, we're going to stop in there before we go and uh, see what we can do with our brothers and talk to our brothers and start something, you know? Start something that ain't nobody started. Because them little, them little brothers in there and the big brothers need to see brothers like me who care, who been there. I been there. I know what it feel like. I, I, we do count time. We do trades up. You sleep late, you lose weight. If you sleep late, you lose weight. You don't get the words. You don't get the prayer. You miss that prayer. So that's my definition when I say sleep late, lose weight. You're going to miss the prayer. You're going to miss the food. You're going to miss the delivery. So, God, we just ain't sitting here because uh, we ain't been anointed. We ain't sitting here because God ain't appointed us. We ain't sitting here because uh, our testimony ain't real. We ain't sitting here because our story don't sound like our story. We ain't sitting here because glory don't look like glory. We ain't sitting here because uh, what I've been through, uh, I don't look nothing like it. Uh, I'm here, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm here for the people. I'm working for the people. Um, I'm making history. I know what my destiny. Um, like I said, it used to be my second home. I would come here three times out the month. Uh, they knew my name from the beginning to the end. Uh, they knew my nickname, you know, and um, I can recall my grandma asking me one time, man, what is that can't fly? And on the first time I couldn't answer, then I went to jail again. She said, boy, I'm gonna ask you again, what can't fly? What is that can't fly? I said, Ma, I don't know, Grandma, I'm, I'm trying to get out. And that third time, she went on and told me. She said, man, you know, I've been asking you this question and you ain't answered. I said, what is it, Grandma? She said, you still ain't told me what, what can't fly. I said, I don't know. She said, a jailbird. You have became a real jailbird. So if you never knew what, what can't fly, a jailbird. Hey, guys, this is Swap Motivation 101. I'm your host, Drizzle Dollar, a.k.a. Man Man, I do the most. This is Rice Street, for the County, 901. I advise y'all, if y'all play the lottery, play that number, 901. Let's get it. We out of here. Shout out to Icon Vision. Swap, swap, swap. Turn the beat up. Second episode, 102. Swap, swap, swap. All I had to fight in the black heart. This my morning glory, we all got a story Never mind this chorus, you gotta hear the story Thanks the one before me, and the ones adore me This my morning glory, this my morning glory Just shot with me, Royal Collections I sell waist trainer lashes, um, clothes Anything you want, one stop shop Thank you Who came up with that? Hustle. And it's mobile, I pull up on you all right, bet. Thank you. What? Get my Instagram. We can tag you in this stuff. We got a uh, well series gonna keep you entertained. Atlanta Avenue. Atlanta Avenue. Man, listen. Okay. She do. Hey, man, Atlanta is different. She here probably taking care of her little boyfriend or something. I heard that deputy asked you get your receipt. <laughs>